Hi guys, we're on the VirtualBox uh, left WM, the new package, it's online. And by that I mean the application, the desktop left WM is online. In the meantime, we see in the update that the Arch Linux keyring is refreshed. Key is important, keys are important, and um, we had lost a few hours yesterday because of that. So the new keyring is in. Again, we can build our ISOs. We have here other stuff to read, like the Linux kernel from 15 to 16. Yay, everybody has number 16. Has been an article on what's included, so there are releases, and you can read what particular hardware piece will be now supported or better supported. And system, these are important bits, and the video that I'm why am I making the video? Well, voila, we're going over all the important bits and pieces. This means updates, I mean reboot. Linux headers means reboot and Arch Linux keyring fix. But let's go for this one. This is why we make the video. We're jumping from version 3563 to uh, fix uh, 569. Wow. And it means a code change, like in the themes. So in the back end, the application will not accept the old code. Simple as that. So we get all this and then they give us the message here. Important Linux packages have changed. Reboot is recommended. So we say SR, we sudo reboot. And then we go and boot up again and see what breaks, right? Because I haven't done anything and we need to change our themes. So if problems do occur, and I suppose I've done this already in my machine, <laughs> if we go to two things, right? The file manager and your terminal. If you go to .config, left WM, and if you're working on a certain desktop, put it where it, it's handy to have, right? Left WM, because we are in the beginning, we are changing all kinds of things, right? So themes in here, all the themes are already there. Now the two things to do, if you have, like I have all the themes, you need to have the new code in. Now, I suppose this is already the new code, but let's go over the emotions. What I would do is use the scripts. There is a script, test all themes is interesting, uninstall Articlex themes, uninstall Peter's themes, so yes, I've been testing already on this machine. So if you have installed lots of stuff, then I would say open the terminal and uninstall all the themes that we have. So if you see in here, themes, and then these themes all need to go. Now I'm waiting for the terminal to appear. I'm not sure if it will. This opens normally. Ah, oh, there it is. Um, alacrity, yeah. <coughs> Some people call it alacrity in, in videos I've heard. I have my own pronunciation. I don't know what it is, but you know, the terminal. And you uninstall things. If you want to un uninstall elements, let's do Peter's first. It's gonna be back to candy so we're always sure that candy is okay why is that because we do scale and if you do a scale you always have the latest left wm code from candy in and it will always work that's the point for the candy it has to work period now if we go in here themes these are our themes okay so what it wants, it wants me to delete this thing. You say yes, and you see the number of folders go away. And this is now your update. So we need to get less and less and less stuff. The old code has to go. And that's, in my eyes, the best way is just to uninstall everything. And if you, if you did something, if you change something inside these folders, rename it. Never use the same name. Call it Material Eric. Call it Mesh Eric. It will never be overwritten because it doesn't exist. Mesh Eric, right? 
So I'm gonna install the rest, which is that's Peter. Install Arch Linux themes.sh then. Going back to Candy. And then it wants to ask again, do you want to remove? I have asked for a, a no confirm option to uninstall things. It would be nice if we could just script and not type all the time. Yes, that will come. Give it time. As you see, I can type rather fast. And that's it. Everything is now cleaned out. This can go one up scripts. Install all Arcalix teams, install the teams from Peter, and that's it. For some reason, he's not awake and it's still early in the morning. <coughs> all themes from Peter first up, duk, 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 duk. they all come in. Let's me maybe quickly go here. They all come in. Basically, they're doing a git clone, and that's probably why I've seen the discussions online why the left wm upgrade is not still not not yet working because we have to think what about doubles what about problems right and as you see the db labels and still needs to be added to the script so that's installed as well i'll do it later <coughs> and then dot sh and all those guys come in as well so these are git clones you can go inside and you see that's a git right but that's the problem with git clone. If you change something, anything, it gets a er, hold what's going on thing. And that's what they need to solve. How will we approach this change? All right, so there it is. You've got your new thing. If you wanna have DB labels, maybe we can have a look at that as well. So codes, I've written in the article, read the aliases. There is LT, there is LTA, theme apply, LTI, install, LTU, uninstall, LT update, upd, and upgrade, which is not yet working. Uh, so we'll wait for the development of the guys. So LT update is kind of working because it says, voila, that's what you have. This is not from us working on Ubuntu, I don't know where it's built upon. But these guys, these guys are all working just fine. These are either working or partially working or not working, right? You can test them out and use the code to build your own. Now, what was I going to tell you? Ah, yeah. We need to install DB labels. So left WM, left WM and then theme. That's the application. If you just type that, you read the rest. I ah, yeah. apply, apply an already installed theme. So I can just switch around. I will switch to one of those above. The current, help, install, list, new, search, status, uninstall, update, and upgrade, as you know, is not working. So first of all, we need to install the new one. So install, you need to type it all, not like this, left theme, install, but this just takes too long. LTI, left theme, install. And then you need to type everything, TP labels. I've also asked if it's possible to how to complete these things. All right. It's installed, but it's not applied. So if you wanna apply, it's actually quite easy. Arrow up, go to the I, say A from apply, and there it is. You've got your LTDB labels. If we refresh, there it is. What am I pressing? Super Shift R. And as you see, it takes a color from the background and then chooses, uh, well, the color. So if we can press CB here or BW, things change, depending on the wallpaper. Pi wall will choose something. Ah, it's the same wallpaper we've seen on Discord. All right, guys, have a fun. Um, this is the approach for today. This is how things should be done. And then you can start again by making your own themes. You know what to do. Never use our name, but say, I'm gonna use Pi. 
pi, control C, control V. You go to pi and you say, I'm gonna call, call it pi two, whatever, right? Something different. If you do a scale, that's fine, just fine, all is fine, because pi two will never be overwritten. Doesn't know pi two. Moving to pi two, LTA apply, right? PA two, is that going to work? Not installed, why? LT update, let the machine know what you've done. Uh, all right, now he sees pi two. Okay, then we go by arrow up again, apply pi two. And now you may make changes, right? This yellow, I would like to see it red and this blue, I should change the icon and this is a little bit small for my eyes. I like to have bigger fonts, fine, go change the code that's the fun so pi 2 is your thing anything goes in here anything change change the background first i don't know have fun that's the point of our clinics in in the end learn have fun and enjoy cheers